Hi, uh, my name is Katie Beecher. I'm a medical and spiritual intuitive and a licensed professional counselor. I've been asked to talk about the finances regarding Lyme and my first thought was that's such an incredibly difficult topic um, because it can be really sadly really really expensive to get adequate testing and treatment for Lyme. I've been recovered four or five years. My treatment was very individualized. It was physical, emotional, and spiritual. Um, some of it I did myself. I also was really lucky to have an excellent naturopath who um, my insurance paid for a lot of it. And because of the way that naturopaths are, um, are licensed and because of the way insurance companies treat them, that doesn't happen in a lot of states. So I recognize that I was really fortunate. And um, I work with a lot of people who it takes forever to get diagnosed and they go through so many different doctors before they even find treatments that kind of work if they work at all. And then a lot of my clients have been to um, practitioners who are unbelievably expensive with these great names and haven't recovered or end up worse and end up with mortgages on their house and just tens of thousands of dollars in bills. So it's it's a really, really difficult issue. And, and then I know a lot of people are trying to treat themselves or treat themselves out of books. I get why, but I really don't recommend that either because, you know, there's there's no way to see if you're doing better or, or to adequately test yourself or to, um, to see if any of those treatments are even appropriate for you. And I'm not a big believer in protocols because every case is different and every person is different. So it's, it's just, it's really hard. I really get it. Um, so I thought that what I could talk about are some things that, um, some things you can do. And one of the things I've learned is that the most expensive people aren't necessarily the best. So really look into their reviews. Um, talk to people who've used them. Find out, um, find out before you choose to go with that practitioner, you'll, what is their, what is their way of practicing? Are you required to fly to another country and get a root canal? For example, um, are you required to pay up front? Are you required to go on certain protocols? Or, you know, what are the costs up front? Like, look into it before you do it. Um, talk to, you know, people on boards and all that kind of stuff. Um, and and ask about people that they've used, you know, find out people who've recovered and, and, um, and what they, not really what they did because every case is different, but you know, people that they've used who maybe haven't been that expensive um, or as expensive as others, um, look at the spiritual and emotional things that you can do, the spiritual and emotional root causes, things that may have prompted the, um, the Lyme disease. I had every single co-infection and chronic fatigue virus and mold exposed and you know, I had everything and I'm fully recovered. So it, so it is possible. Um, and, but, but there were spiritual and emotional stuff involved in that too that I had to address to recover. So there are things you can do, you know, look at your at diet and exercise if you can. I know a lot of people are disabled, um, but you know, look at all the other possible things you can do. Um, you know, try not to dwell on it. Try not to label yourself a patient. Um, I didn't want to use the word Lyme. I didn't want to feel like a patient because that put me in a mode I didn't want to feel like I wanted to be in. Um, you know, but, but there are people out there who, who can help you and, um, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, it's a tough issue. Um, I think there's more and more people who are, are treating and there's more and more, you know, research out there about things like medical marijuana or CBD or, you know, I know a lot of you guys research all the time and you're, you're trying everything you possibly can to to get better um but the most expensive person isn't necessarily the best and really look at what you're what you're getting into you don't have to necessarily travel across the country i have people who've done that ended up sicker than before and um you know um but try to get as much information as you can I don't feel like I've been a huge amount of help. I wish I could solve this issue and, and I can, I'm, I'm working on it. I try really hard. Um, 
you know, to help the people that I work with and help them find reasonably priced, priced treatment and, and things like that. But um, hopefully we're all working together and, and getting closer.